Well, a couple closing comments uh, concerning uh, the Hawaii game. First of all, I thought Hawaii played well. Do you remember last year's game was a close ball game? We beat them in overtime. This was a close ball game as well. And uh, we came up on the short end of the stick. Uh, certainly, I think Hawaii did some great things. Uh, you know, they played a freshman quarterback who played well. And um, they're playing some good defense as well. There's certainly things that we can do better. Uh, we need to do better. Uh, we were able to run the ball uh, pretty doggone effectively. I thought Nico Evans and the offensive line, some downfield blocking uh, was really good. Uh, but we were not able to produce the number of points we we're going to need to to win the ball game. Uh, defensively, we certainly got more pressure on the quarterback. Uh, that style of offense can cause problems as far as trying to get some pressure on the quarterbacks. I thought a lot of times we we either were sacking him or hitting him right when he was delivering the football, which was positive. Um, and we did score on defense, so that was that was a positive thing. Um, you know, they moved the football um, late and uh, scored on us late. We're disappointed on that. Uh, we had a shot to win the game at the end, and uh, um, you know we can manage some things better. We certainly, um, you know, we ran out of time, uh, but uh, some of that's our own fault. You know, we had to use some timeouts at some untimely manners uh, at times, so. We got to correct that. Uh, got a lot to play for as we move forward. Uh, we're playing against a really good Fresno State team. Uh, they, you know, I think they're doing a lot of things well. Uh, currently, uh, statistically, I think they're ninth in the country uh, in, uh, in total defense. I know they're ranked in the top ten almost everything, and I think they're second in the country in turnover margin. Uh, quarterback is a really experienced player. Uh, they don't uh, beat themselves, but he's completing. I don't know. I've got it down here. It's way higher than 70 percent. Uh, that's 72 percent is six in the country, and so we're playing against a, a football team that uh, you know they know how to win. They've been winning, uh, and they they came up with a very convincing win against Nevada last week. Uh, the only injury that we did sustain uh, from the game, and we'll find out a little bit more, uh, was with Caden Jackson. He did not complete the, the game. I'll find out a little bit more today, you know, what, where he's at. Um, they're diagnosing him with a potential concussion, so we'll make sure we get some information there. But we, we came through the game relatively healthy, which is encouraging. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I think Coach Rolovich is doing a good job with that Hawaii team. It's the first time he's been a head coach. Uh, their home crowd, I, uh, I think, was really loud, and that caused some problems for them. So kudos to Hawaii. Um, you know, like I said, they beat us, and uh, we got to get moving forward. So questions? Yes, Robert. Right on, the, on the final play, you mm -hmm. know, I wasn't able to see it, but, you know, <coughs> second left, and then Tyler spiked it. I mean, did that all seem to make sense that just Tyler didn't maybe realize there was just the one second left? Or did you think maybe there was supposed to be more time left? No, you know what? We knew coming in, Robert, that we looked at where we were at on the field. We looked at the number of seconds we had left. Um, we felt like if we could throw the ball to the sticks, we could get a spike. You've got to have two seconds on the clock. I think the, the um, <clears throat> you know, uh, we missed it by a second. And uh, so, um, a lot of times you make decisions. We knew it was going to be tight. We thought, uh, and what occurred on the play, the, the initial receiver was not open right away. Tyler had to scramble around a little bit more. That probably caused a second or two. And um, it was disappointing. We were kind of begging to try to, to see about getting two seconds on the clock. The, the official there ruled what was on the clock, and the game was done. Uh, you know, in hindsight, you say throw it in the end zone. I think if we were able to throw the ball on time, probably would have been in a different position. Craig, just your your thoughts of where the offense mm -hmm. is right now, um, just where where right. uh, everything is kind of. Well, I think we're sputtering. Mm -hmm. You know, there's uh, if you the statistics don't lie. I mean, I think we're we're uh, we're struggling as far as uh, point production. We're we're struggling as far as uh, pass passing completion. Uh, I think that there's some bright spots. Uh, we went into this game saying we needed to establish a run, which we did, uh, and so we need to build on that. But I think we we certainly can't be uh, uh, one-dimensional, and uh, so that's got to we got to open up the playbook uh, some more this week. But you know, I think when you have a talented running back like Nico, he's really worked hard. I think we're blocking well for him. We we need to utilize that as a weapon. But the other aspects, uh, whether it's uh, staying on the field, third down uh, um, um, conversions, that's way off. 
Um, you know, our completion percentage is off, uh, and certainly our point production is off. I think we're down in the hundreds on all those categories, so that needs to improve. Now, we've got a lot of season left. We've got a young quarterback that's back there. Uh, we've got to protect him better, and uh, we need to be more balanced, but uh, we're off. We're not, we're not playing efficient enough efficiently enough uh, for us to, to win ball games. Yes, sir. Just to follow up on the offense and, you know, look, you do have some, some young guys back there, but is there some, you just need to just keep coaching them up or do you, do you make some, do you make some changes in some certain areas to try to spark it a little bit? What are your kind of thoughts moving forward? Well, when you, when you look at uh, sparking an offense, I think the best thing you can do is just operate a little bit more efficiently. You know, we're always looking at different personnel combinations, Robert. Um, but, uh, you know, we, we feel like Tyler is a quarterback that we need to continue to move forward with. Um, you know, we're certainly looking at different combinations with receivers. Um, it certainly has helped to, to get Austin Fort back. I don't think he's 100% yet with his leg, but he was a weapon. Hopefully he'll, uh, he'll come around. Um, we have had some, you know, some, a little bit of a lack of continuity in the offensive line. Uh, losing KJ last week uh, hurt, but some of that's football. This week's going to test us, but uh, you know we we've got a lot of season left, and I think we, we cannot abandon what we're doing, but we've got to certainly fine tune that. With, yes. with the number of sacks you guys are giving up this year, how much is that protection on offensive line? How much is that maybe Tyler holding onto the ball too much too long? Um, you know, I think it's a little combination of both. Uh, certainly, <clears throat> um, you know, one of the sacks that we gave up last uh, last game. Um, you know, that, that really had to do more. It was a combination of both, but the ball should have been out, and that's part of a, a young quarterback. There's certain certain uh, 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 passes that uh, when you dial up a certain type of protection, uh, when the, the routes are going to be longer, then that comes down to what's going on with your offensive line. But then there's other times that the quarterback's got to get up, get rid of the football. And so that's a learning curve. we got to get better. There's a lot better protection this time around than it was against Boise State. Bauer was able to stand back there and make those attempts. Do you think that the protection will need to be even better against Fresno State? Yeah, I do. I mean, Fresno's uh, probably one of the top uh, defenses in the conference. However, I think Hawaii's pretty good. Uh, but, uh, you know, we, we're going to continue to look at all the things we do. The, the bottom line is, is we've got to produce more points. If we're going to be successful, I think we're going to be playing good defense. Uh, but, uh, you know, we've got to get to the point where our point total is, is increasing, and that's going to give us an opportunity to win games. Yes, Ryan. You know, Dante, you know, took over your playing chores. Was that mm -hmm. kind of something you worked – I mean, I'm sure you worked him last week. Was that kind of – did you know he was going to be the guy and kind of your assessment of him and, and him moving right. forward? Well, we went into the game, uh, even all the way over the island, and we looked at both guys. Um, you know, Dante had punted in high school. And he's got a strong leg. A lot of the high school football fans in the state probably remember him. He was also a great soccer player, and he could have been a Division One soccer player. So we certainly start thinking outside the box. It's been a long time since I can remember you lose uh, your punter for the whole year, and typically you're not going to have a whole lot of backing up. But uh, we thought Dante did some good things in the ball game. I mean, he got the ball off. I think our our net punting was was pretty good. We had one that was brought back. Uh, um, too far, and that really was not the punt's fault. So we'll uh, continue to look at Dante this week. Right now, we've got him down as our starter. There were some misses on that punt return. Um, a lot of missed tackles. Seven missed tackles. At least. <laughs> seven, at least I counted. Seven. Seven. There were seven. Let's just be clear, there were okay, seven. That's fair. So he's running through, and he's just slicing up guys. I mean, I understand tackling is a one-on-one kind of thing. Mm -hmm. You learn that from the onset. <laughs> What has to be better in that special teams? Well, training? those guys got to tackle better, and we probably got to uh, we got to get the net better. But it was really disappointing, and that that created some field position that was not to our advantage. Yes. Did you come back with a short week after Hawaii? Did you ever think about is it, could there be a way they could guarantee a team an off week after mm -hmm. Hawaii, or at least a home game? And well, I, I asked Kevin there. I, I think uh, you know. I think we should have one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, here's what I would say. Uh, you know, we we appreciate the University of Hawaii being in our league, and they bring a lot to the table. Obviously, they've got a really good football program. The travel uh, is the logistics. That's a challenge. Uh, but uh, Hawaii does it every week. But, I, yeah, I think I had submitted a proposal if they could stage a bye week, not before you go to Hawaii, but when you come back. 
um, you know, um, that didn't get any wheels, any any uh, traction. So, as coaches, you know what you play, uh, what you're you're dealt with, and we're getting ready for a big big ball game against Fresno, where we're going on the road again. But I can tell you this: last year, Fresno did the exact same thing. You know, they went out and they played Hawaii, and then they came back and they played here. So, um, and they they were successful against us. So. You know what, uh, our, our players, uh, <clears throat> you know, I had some breakfast with them today. They're a little bit tired. A jet lag comes into play, but I think, uh, you know, there's a resolve and focus that uh, we want to improve on a lot of things, i.e. The, the punt coverage. That's got to improve. Uh, our offensive efficiency needs to improve. We've got to do some things defensively that needs to improve. And so uh, there's a lot of season left. I'm certainly um, excited about this ball game. Yes, Robert. I mean, you, you mentioned you talked a little bit about Fresno. It seems like they may be as complete a team in, the, mm -hmm. in this league as anyone. I mean, they return just about all those guys from last year. Are, are, from what you've seen on film, are they about as complete a team as, as you've seen at least to this point? In, in the um, I, I would have said uh, Boise initially, um, and I know San Diego State. I watched that game, you know, uh, at the hotel. The San Diego State got after Boise. They didn't even look like the same team that played against us, and so. Uh, Lou Holtz once said you bring a different football team to the stadium every week. I do think how, how Fresno plays uh, lends itself to tons of consistency. They, 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 they don't give up a lot of explosive plays defensively. They keep the ball up in front of them. They complete 70% of their balls. They don't turn the ball over. They're number two in the country in turnover margin. You'd have to put them up there. If they're not the best, they're probably one or two of the best. Yes. Carl. And maybe one of his more active games of the season for you guys. I know it's been a slow start statistically compared to what he did last year. But what's kind of been the difference for him the last couple of weeks? Um, we cut him loose a little bit, and, and we felt like uh, there would be an advantage uh, that we would have um, with him going against a couple of their tackles, and it proved uh, um, that was exactly how it came out. Carl's always uh, gone out and played hard. I think we we handcuffed him a little bit early in the season, but. This was a disruptive game, not only for Carl, but Johan a lot. We got, I thought we got good pressure on the quarterback and it was disruptive and uh, we probably just needed one more sack to get the game won. Yes? What have you seen in Keon's development uh, mm -hmm. kind of going opposite of Antonio? Uh, Keon's really uh, continued to uh, uh, own his work as far as his technique. I think he's done a good job staying focused and in phase. He's a physical player and he runs well. You know, we certainly got tested. Uh, I think Boise got after him, uh, but you're going to learn from that when you got a freshman guy out there, and he's a redshirt freshman. But we're pleased with his progress. You expect to have CJ this week? Um, I would say, I don't know what the term would somewhere between hopeful and doubtful. Okay, at least uh, I had breakfast with him this morning. He feels like he's getting stronger, but. You know, that's one of those things until the nerve uh, generates uh, and his strength levels not up, they're not going to clear him, which uh, is where we're at.